Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble, and today we're going to be talking about a thing in the in the footprint generator uh, realm. <laughs> well, I'm actually a little confused about this. I didn't know this is a new feature, and and maybe this has been here a while. Again, this is one of those things where you stumble upon it and you don't even know it's there. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. I was in I was poking around the uh, footprint uh, editor. This is the uh, footprint editor. It looks a little bit different now because we do have this permanent window on the left. And what I found is here is in the file. And I was like looking down here, new footprint. OK, that makes sense. Create footprint. I had not seen this before. And uh, this is what pops up. Um, and so what we're going to do is basically pick a, a wizard. There's a wizard for actually creating uh, different, different types of parts here. And I did not know about it. So that's really great. So let's go to QFN. That's pretty simple. Uh, pull this window up here. And uh, in here now, we could basically state uh, what is our pitch. Which are a number of uh, pins, our width, and uh, length. So let's just start playing around with these. Let's say we have a 64 pin, uh, 64 pin thing. We're going to up the pitch here to 0 0.6. So that spaces them out. The length, uh, I believe, this is the overall package length. And the, uh, well, that doesn't make sense. No, that's the length of the. That must be the length of the pin. Let's try making that one. That's a little bit longer there. So you see, it kind of encroaches now a little bit more on the center pad. The width of the pin itself, we could probably make that a little bit wider. So let's go like that. And fillet is the should be the uh, the the roundness of the pin itself. So we take that down to zero. I believe it'll go s square. Let's see. Oh no, sorry. Fillet must be the uh, the amount of overage outside of the uh, package shape. Then so that was 0.3. Let's take that to 0.5. There we go. And then we can make it oval or not. I guess we don't have any uh, any control over the the roundness of the pad, but that's OK. I mean, most of the time, a rounder pad's nice because then you can uh, get a nice solder joint in there as well. All right, so let's go into here now. We can also change the, the, pad, uh, the pad size. So we can turn it on or off. We can uh, turn on thermal vias. This was a little bit weird. You know, like basically what this means is when you're using thermal vias, that's nice because then basically all the heat kind of goes to a lower layer of the board. You might be able to tie it to the back. There might be even copper back there or even a ground plane back there. Or sorry, a, a thermal plane you could you know, mount a heat sink to. But the thing to remember when you're using this is that you cannot then pretty much route traces through underneath that pad. Uh, and so, or, you know, there's just certain things you have to kind of consider there. And uh, that's one reason to, to maybe not do it. But anyways, uh, you can always drop a via in later as well. Uh, so let's see what else we got here. So we got the drill size, divisions. OK, so then this says how many vias we want to have. And again, I'm just exploring this as we do. Oh, one other thing is that I did find a, um, a plugin up here, so you'll see what I'm actually typing as I type. So that's kind of nice. So there we go. And then paste margin 0.75. I'm guessing that's actually how how far away the paste will actually be on this pad because uh, you don't always want to have pad all the way, or paste all the way to the edge because then it might get it might start floating the part. So this is actually really great. I mean, uh, I've always made my own parts like this and. It's not that I usually have a problem. It's just that it is pretty time consuming. So this is the overall. This must be the overall size of the part. Let's just take this down to 12 and 12. See what that looks like. So it recalculates because now you might be a little bit closer. You see, then now we're a little bit too close to the pad here. So we want to make that smaller. Again, you're going to be following a data sheet here, not just making it up as you go along like I am. So uh, there is that. <laughs> and uh, same thing with the pads here. Well, that's really great. Let's, uh, so this is this is a separate wizard. As you see, this is actually outside of the footprint editor. So this is the footprint wizard here. Again, uh, it may have been here the whole time, and I just didn't know about it. But I like it. Uh, so if we want to go and then save, so we could all, we could also switch it up to uh, different ones here. Barcode reader. Oh wow, that's kind of oh that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So you could start to uh, make a barcode for your your PCB as well. I had not I had not seen that before. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, FPC is like uh, those flat flat connectors, basically that you see on displays a lot of the time. And uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, so basically you might have multiple pin there. You usually do that with like heat uh, heat. Uh, looks like a big soldering iron with a big flat piece to it. SOIC touch slider barcode. Wow, this is really cool. Anyways, so you don't need me to, to go through this. You can go in and uh, explore this yourself. But as you're making footprints, this is a really nice addition. And this also explains why the, uh, the footprint library from KiCad has exploded. If you haven't looked at that, there are basically the footprint libraries have been another thing that have been exploding in usefulness. Um, 
you know, the librarians that are doing that stuff are doing doing the Lord's work and, and actually making footprints that are not only accurate but checked. And uh, you know, you should always double check your footprints, triple check your footprints, quadruple check your footprints. Can't can't state that enough. But having a good starting place and a good uh, you know, and, and the labeling too is really nice now too. The you know, they'll put the pitch in there. They'll say it's an eight by eight part with you know 0.4 millimeter pitch or whatever it is, and it's right in the the name of the part, and that really helps as well for for sanity checking when you're doing these things. So once again, thanks to the KiCad team, thanks to the KiCad library team. They're all doing great work out there. Uh, this is a fun new feature. Hopefully you like it too as well. We'll have more videos here in the future about KiCad footprints and more. Thanks for watching.